let's play with the new Hero Arts two-tone metallic sprays. All right, everybody, let's get into it. It's Dana, and I'm so excited to be sharing with you the new two-tone metallic sprays by Hero Arts. They are gorgeous, and we're gonna have so much fun with these today. So let me first introduce you to the colors. We have bright yellow and copper. We're also going to have royal purple and gold. The next color we have up is ocean blue and gold. Then we're gonna have spring green and gold. And last but not least is the fuchsia and gold. These colors are so pretty. So let's first start out, what is this? This is a metallic pigment in dry watercolor powders. And to activate these, you're going to add some water to your container shake it on up, and then you're gonna have some great sprays. I wanted to show you another way how to use these sprays, so I will recommend off the bat, order yourself two of each bottle. I'm just saying. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, these are ideals for background stenciling and watercolor. So I'm gonna start off with my Hero Arts Luxe White uh, watercolor paper. And I'm going to try my spray first. I just wanna use the powder in the inside because I wanna play around with this. I wanna see what I can do before I turn these into sprays. So I just tapped out a little bit of my powder onto my glass mat. You guys know I love watercoloring. So I'm going to use this with just a little bit of water. Now my paper is dry. I do not have a wet on wet technique here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, get my paintbrush and pick up the color. Voila, I can watercolor with this. Now mind you, to activate the sprays, you're going to need some water. So if I left a couple of these containers with just a powder in them, I can just shake some out and then go ahead and watercolor with them. I'm gonna tap out a little bit more because I'm being adventurous today with my sprays. I'm gonna tap out that pigment. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this with some water. And what's so great about these is that you can have a very light wash of this color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab in my dry paper here. Mind you, all of my water is coming from my mat. And when I flip this over, I have this beautiful color wash. Now within this color wash, I'm going to have a lot of that gold shimmer going on here. And look how pretty that is. Two ways right there. You can paint with it, you can smush with it. Let's find another way to do this. So my paper is still wet. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my powder here and I'm just gonna tap some of it on. And look, I get these gorgeous blooms. This is what I like about watercoloring. I like that I can get blooms when I add dry uh, powder to the water, I get gorgeous blooms. I did add a little bit more water to this because now I can see my flakes here. I have my flecks of these greens and these yellows and this gold, and I can still maneuver it with my paintbrush. Now, these are going to be quick drying and permanent when you add a fixative on top. And don't worry about getting your hands too messy. You can just go ahead and wash your hands afterwards. I'm going to dry this back but as you can see, I have this gorgeous two-tone look on this little practice piece we have going here. Look at that. I have these great little specks of gold and I have these two tones. All right, so now we know we can use it this way. Let's try one more other way. I'm going to grab my white hero paste. Again, I'm using this first as just the dry pigment. That's all I'm doing. So like I said, grab yourself two bottles. Just saying. One you can add water to and the other one you can leave as a powder and use it however you want. I'm going to tap a little bit more of this powder on here. I am going to hit this with a little bit of water to kind of activate my color and then I can start mixing this in with my hero paste. Now look at that. Now I have a customized hero paste and I'm going to get all of these gorgeous shades of green. And when this dries back, I'm also going to have that mix in of that metallic with that shimmer. So that right there is three ways. I just showed you how you can use this without even activating it, putting the water in the bottom. All right, now let's go ahead and start using these. So on the bottle, it says to fill it up to three fourths full and add more water for changing intensity. 
I like my intensity to be really, really strong. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. So as you can see, I'm gonna tilt this to the side. You'll be able to see just how much water I used. And then I can go ahead and screw on my top. Now the magic starts when I start shaking. Watch this, you guys. I'm gonna shake. Ah, look at that gorgeous green. So we went from that pale, soft green to this vibrant spring green. And I'm just gonna keep shaking until I get all of the powder incorporated from the bottom of my little container here. Shake, 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 shake. And look how gorgeous this color is. Come on, y'all. Now I'm gonna show you if you add a word or two, your bottle. Look at this. <gasps> look at that, you guys. Look how strong and beautiful and pigmented this is. Stunning. Look at all the gold sparkle in this. I'm going to hit this with a little bit more water. Because remember, I didn't put a lot of water in my container here. And now I can really get this to flow. And I can also, again, still maneuver this with my paintbrush if I wanted to. But as this starts drying back, or actually, you can actually see it in the water. You can see all of the sparkle from all of that mix of that pigment in there. And it is so pretty. Look how easily this flows as well. So I'm being able to pull that color right through this paper. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this back so we can see this once it's dried. Now, once it's dried, you can still add more to this. You don't have to just stop here because we're getting this very pretty two-tone look, but you can add more color on top of this. So I did dry that back. I have these gorgeous colors moving through here, and I'm having those gold moments. But if I wanted to, I can go ahead and spray right on top of this again. And then look at this. It does not dry back into the color. So I'm going to be able to build up this color. Again, I have it very, very saturated. I'll add a little bit more water to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just heat set this one. I'm going to heat set this really quick so you can see this. So once I heat set this, look at the color I have, you guys. You can really start seeing that gold shimmer. And you can see that I'm able to build this color up. I'm getting that two-tone look. And look how gorgeous that gold is. Just those gold moments when we want them in a nice spray. But again, if I wanted a light wash, I can have a light wash with this or I can add it to my paste. Totally up to you guys. All right, let's go ahead and start making some panels so we can put these on cards a little bit later. Now, I had to go out. So I made sure to protect this little manicure I got going on. But remember, you can go ahead and just wash this off of your hands. I needed to protect the nails. Not so much my hands, but I needed to protect my nails. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put on these gloves and then we're gonna make some gorgeous backgrounds for cards. So I am gonna come back in with another piece of that Lux white cardstock. This is the watercolor cardstock. And I'm going to come in with my lacy floral stencil. I'm just gonna put that towards the top of my panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab out my two colors. So I'm going to be using my bright yellow and copper, which is so pretty. This color is so pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and see, I just want to show you really quickly. This is the powder and this is the liquid. You can see the change in intensity. So that's like I said, if you wanted to have just a pigment, buy an extra bottle, put it off to the side where you can just use the pigment and mix it in with some of your mixed media powders, other powders, as well as the hero paste. Now I'm gonna come in with that gorgeous spring green. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on there. Now I'm just gonna let this kind of sit and marinate. Now this paper is dry, the paper is not wet. So you could do a wet on wet here if you wanted to, but this is a really quick drying spray as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray on a little bit more. Now you could set this aside and let it dry, but because I'm doing a tutorial today and I just want to show you very quickly how pretty this is, I'm just gonna grab a paper towel and lay this right on top. Now, if I wanted to, I could add more water to this at this point before I put on the paper towel, but I'm just gonna put on a paper towel and just lift up some of this color. Now, I know a lot of people, when they go ahead and use these types of sprays, 
and look at the paper towel. Hey, we have a panel here for a card. I'm just saying, don't throw that away. <laughs> now I can go ahead and lift up this stencil. <sighs> Be still my heart, y'all. Look at this gorgeousness here. I have those two colors that blend it perfectly together. I have this great shimmer of this bright yellow and this spring green with the gold and the copper. And because I didn't spray everywhere, I'm getting a very nice soft load of background. But I'm not gonna let this go to waste because you know, I have some of that spray on that stencil. So let's see if we can get a print off of it. I am gonna wet down my paper this time. I'm going to spray down my stencil as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and flip this over. The paper is big enough that we can go ahead and try this out. Now, because this is now wet on wet, I'm going to have a very soft look when I peel this up. It's going to be a nice little color wash because the paper's wet, my stencil's wet, and this gorgeous metallic spray is smushed in between. So I'll quickly lift that off and look, I get a beautiful soft wash of this color. Remember, more water, I'm gonna get a soft wash. Less water, or no water in this case, I'm going to get that print off to the left. Gorgeous color wash. Other side, beautiful stencil work. These colors are phenomenal. And I already have my gold and my copper mixed in. I don't have to add anything else. So let's go ahead and start playing with some of the other colors. So a tip. I like to clean off my nozzles when I use them. This way, I just don't have anything that's caked up on my nozzle the next time I wanna use these sprays. Now, I'm not gonna say that these sprays are going to gunk up, but it's just a very, very good habit. If you're using sprays, clean off your nozzles. The better we take care of our products, the products are gonna better take care of us. I know that doesn't make sense because, you know, they're bottles, but if we take care of our stuff, we're gonna have them and they're going to last. Let's go ahead and change up these colors. So again, this is just pigment powder in here. So it's a blend of metallic pigment and dry watercolor. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some water. This time I added a little bit more water than my last bottle. So as you can see, I added a tad bit more. Now, if you add more water, you're going to be able to change that intensity. The more water you use, the changing of the intensity you're going to have. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my ocean blue. Again, this powder inside is so pretty, but wait till I shake it. Wait till I shake it, because this is gonna like blow your mind, because we have a very, very soft powder in here. But once we add our water to it, it's going to be so pretty. It's going to change the vibrancy of this, the intensity of that color. I'll go ahead and put water into this one, close it up, and let's start shaking. Once I start shaking this, you really, really end up seeing the color change. Voila, look how gorgeous this purple is. I think this is gonna end up being Libby's favorite because she loves herself some purple. So again, I'm shaking until I can move all those particles from the bottom. Look how gorgeous this blue is. I don't know, you guys, this might be my favorite. I'm not sure yet, but I really, really love this ocean blue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shake up that fuchsia and look at this gorgeousness. These remind me of very strong, um, like jewel tones. I think they're just so gorgeous and they're gonna be perfect for, for summer cards, mixed media projects, uh, scrapbook layouts. Let's not forget about that because we can use this on all of them. All right, now I just wanna come in and show you some of the color directly out of the bottom. So you're gonna just pump a little bit until you start seeing your beautiful water color mix shimmer spray come through. Now you can see how saturated this is. Because remember, I only put a little bit of water in here. But again, remember, if you add more water, you can change the intensity of this. So once I went ahead and I sprayed my paper, now I can really get this flowing and moving. And look at that tone on tone. We're getting different shades of purple in here. But remember, we're also getting that metallic built right in. But look how gorgeous this flows. Again, I used more water with this. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and tap this back. Now this will dry lighter, just so you know, but remember the color is buildable. Now, if I wanted to, I could have set this aside and let this dry, but I just want to show you that you can get a nice change of color on these. So if you want to, I would suggest getting all that color on there, setting it aside to dry or building up your color. So let's come in with that fuchsia. Again, I'm spraying until it comes up to my nozzle and look how gorgeous this is. These two colors mixed together look lovely. Again, I can leave this as strong as this, or again, I can soften this by adding more water. So again, if I were you, I would definitely keep one of these two-tone metallic sprays in the dry pigment form, and then I would add I have another set rather to go ahead and add your water to. But look how pretty this is. If I add more water, I'm going to get a softer look. Again, I'm just going to tap this back just for video sake, but otherwise I would just set this aside and let this dry. Now we have these two great colors here, right? I'm just gonna start building this up. I'm gonna spritz on a little bit more of my fuchsia here. And then I'm just gonna open up and just tap some of this color. Now, what I love about this is my paper still wet. So I am getting those watercolor blooms that I absolutely love. This is the part I love about watercoloring is when you add more color and you get these gorgeous little blooms that develop. But look how I was able to build that up. I was able to have those two tones with this. Next, I'm gonna come in and do the same thing with my purple. I'll just tap some of that on there, but my paper's wet, so I'm going to get a lot of those gorgeous blooms. But look how nicely this layers. So you can build up the intensity of your colors and you can really get that gorgeous two-tone look. I mean, look how gorgeous this is. And I'm really seeing a lot of those gold sparkles. All right, let's now come in with that ocean blue. Shake, shake, shake. I would suggest every time you get ready to use these is to shake them because that pigment is gonna kind of settle to the bottom. So just make sure to shake these. Look how vibrant this color is. Again, very beautiful if I left it just as strong as this. But again, I can come in with that water. I can add a little bit of water. I can add a lot of water. But look at this. When I start tilting that into the fuchsia, I get another gorgeous shade of purple. So how fun is that? Over here, I can have like very, very strong sprays, or again, I can lighten it up. Tap that back just with my paper towel, and look at this panel that we created. This panel is absolutely gorgeous. Now my paper is very wet here, but look how gorgeous this all layers on top. I swear, I think you guys are gonna fall in love with these sprays. I'm going to add a little bit more of that blue, kind of tap that on there. I'm getting those gorgeous blooms that I, I just love, but look how the purple and the um, ocean blue marry up together. Look how gorgeous that is. So now we have all of this that we can just keep building up this color. I can go ahead and add that purple over onto that blue. I can also add that fuchsia in, and I'm going to have gorgeous backgrounds that I can have for my cards. But again, this is all buildable. So I can just tap some of those on there and I'm going to have gorgeous backgrounds. Everything is customizable and buildable here and it all depends on how much water you use. So play with these sprays, have fun, see what you can create. I'm gonna show you how I turn these panels into cards. So for my first card, I went ahead and I used the Hero Arts Bold Print Floral Flowers rather and Swirls and the thanks from the Happy Thanks stamp set. I also have the Secret Garden Fancy Dye. And look how gorgeous, you can really see those golds in there. And then the last one here is with that stencil that we use. And I see those beautiful greens and yellows and coppers and golds, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, everybody, that's an introduction into the two-tone metallic sprays. Grab yours today. Grab two of them. Keep one in a powder form, add water to the other one, and have fun. All right, everybody, we'll see you in another video soon. Take care. Bye-bye.